Dedicate this next song to Ryan Gosling. <laughs> yeah, just as Barbie was wrapping up its historic weekend at the box office, Rob Thomas dedicated push to the big screen Ken during Matchbox 20's concert in Mansfield Sunday night. If you haven't seen the movie yet, it's not a big spoiler to learn that this happens. Yeah, Ken covers the band's track that was released in 1997, 26 years ago. And Ryan told E.T. that wasn't some random song choice. Ken Sings Push was in the script. It was definitely that song and Greta was, um, you know, I love that song. adamant. It's perfect. I love, love that song. Oh, this would be so funny yeah. if Ken loved this song. Yeah, it was a favorite writer-director Greta Gerwig's growing up. And she told Cinema Blend she always heard that song as part of Barbie Land. Honestly, it was like, I was like, there are two songs that play like on repeat yeah. in like Barbie Land is Indigo Girls Closer to Fine, sure. which I also love very deeply. And, um, and Matchbox 20 is like the, you know, push. When Rob Thomas got the call asking for permission to use the song, he was prepared that the song would be used for laughs, telling USA Today, there was a whole period during the 90s where the more successful we got, the bigger target we were. We were an easy takedown, including being a poster on the wall of Kristen Dunst's, as Rob describes him, douchey boyfriend in Bring It On. So getting the Barbie call, Rob says, I did this thinking I'd be the butt of the joke, and I was fine with that. I'm pretty thick-skinned. But of course later, Rob would breathe a sigh of relief once he found out that the song is used in a more heartfelt, lovable way. Greta Gerwig has been one of my crushes forever, so just the fact that it didn't diminish my crush on Greta, that's even better. I would have loved to see Greta's reaction when she learned that Rob has a crush on her. <laughs> I hope it reinvigorates this song. Yeah, what did you think of Ken's cover of Matchbox 20's Push? I 